I think we're trying to learn how to be a better transition team because we have a lot of speed and we're smaller than we ever have been. So we're really looking forward to uh, trying to push the ball up the court and having that mindset um, every time we go into a game because I think that's our greatest asset. We've been doing a lot of wind sprints and transition drills to try to get us in shape for the season and I think that's important because we're going to be running so much. Like We're really looking for that second outlet and get the ball up as quick as possible. Last year we tried to get into that transition game a little bit, but I think this year it's even more important. Obviously without Jen returning, we have to kind of adjust to the players that we have and I think it's working really well. I think it's great to have them all back. I think these kids, uh, the, the seniors just right now have been through enough that um, you know they know what it takes to win, so that really helps a lot as a coach and I think uh, especially the mentality to um, push the underclassmen, you know, that to pay, play with the intensity and practice every day and carry it over in games. Um, so that's important, having the veterans back. Um, you know, we lost a lot in um, outside shooting, but I think we're stronger probably in um, the defensive end this year than we were. Um, the freshmen are very good defenders and they'll help us a lot in that area. As a captain, I really like to include all the freshmen and don't make like let them know that they it's okay to make mistakes. They're gonna get better throughout the years, just like when we were freshmen. And that's how we felt. So I think having them be included and knowing that it's okay to mess up, and that they're gonna be learning so much throughout this year, and just encourage them to do the best they can. You would hope that no matter where you're playing, that just they come to play. So I think. You know, obviously we've traveled a lot with our trips and everything, going to Williams almost every other year. So the veterans are used to it, um, and it will definitely pay off. But, you know, it's always hard to play away. But I think if they just have the mindset that they're just playing a basketball game and not thinking about where they're playing it, um, I think that's part of it. Um, you have to be good on the road. So, um, And I think they just have a winning attitude, and that carries a lot of weight. So. Hopefully that will continue. I think it'll be good for us, especially when we get to play those out of conference games, um, especially the NESCAC teams really prepare us for what it's going to be like after New Max, because once you hit the real tournament, it's a lot more competitive. So I think um, being able to perform on the road is really going to help us, especially when we come back to having our home games. We're so used to playing on the road at that point that it'll feel pretty natural, I think. At the end of the season last year, every one of them meets with you and, you know, they talk about what they want for their following year. And I know every one of the juniors now, present seniors, you know, want to win another championship and they want to go further in the NCAA. Um, and that's a lofty goal, even though we've been there. I mean, because it's so hard to sustain that um, ability to get there and, get, you know, it's a long season. Um, but as long as they have that and they take it day by day and they don't look ahead, um, I think it will pay off for them, but you just can't look ahead. They really have to grind it out because it is such a long season. And um, they've been through it. Their freshman year, you know, they had the um, championship then with Sarah Collins and Alana, and, you know, and then last year to do it again. And I think they want to carry on that tradition. Um, and hopefully that will drive them even um, further down the road when things get tough or adversity hits us. We'd love to obviously host the tournament and come in first place. Um, it was hard going out to Springfield and trying to beat Wheaton and Springfield that weekend. It was a lot. So obviously having that home court advantage would be really important to us. So we can't go and lose those tough games that we did last year. <laughs> the five of us have grown so much over the years, and we know what it's like to just freshmen. We weren't as involved in the team as we are now, obviously. And having those two championships that we were able to have together, I think that's our goal, obviously, for this year. And we've grown so much on and off the court, and it's just the chemistry is great this year, so we're really looking forward to it.